So um, we are back. Um, I'm back um, to give you an, a, my thoughts on the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Um, well, um, there was three people were starting from the from the pit lane uh, because of various incidents. Um, one of them was Robert Kovitsa, I say, um, because they had to change some bits, which you're not allowed to do. And then there was Kimi Raikkonen, because he had some um, issue with the flexing, flexible front um, front uh, wing. Um, and then there was, the final one was Pierre, Pierre Gasly for a few, few flow irregularity apparently. Um, let me, let me, um, I've got some thoughts on this to start with. Now, the, the, the Robert Kubica one, I can understand. Um, you know, that, that's totally rational, and, you know, I'm not uh, arguing with that one, or let me rephrase that, I'm not arguing with any of them, but I'm not confused about the, the Robert Kubica one. However, the, um, the, uh, Raikkonen one, I am confused about because how can Alfa Romeo not have tested the front wing conforms with uh, regulations uh, before they actually put it on to the car? Um, so uh, maybe some of you guys can answer me. That can shed some light on on that uh, issue. Um, and finally, Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly. Um, I reminded me of when um, was it 2000 and yeah, it was 2016, I don't believe, when. Um, Daniel Ricciardo uh, got onto the podium at um, the se the season opener in Australia. Only took and uh, have his third place st stripped due to a few ir irregularity. But anyway, let's let's uh, get onto my thoughts about the race. Now, um. I think it was quite a processional race, um, and and uh, because there was no actual safety car, uh, sa uh, safety cars. Uh, I mean, we did have some virtual, uh, we did have virtual safety cars um, for for and in uh, for uh, one particular very. Um, um, bizarre incident of which, uh, to which I will come later on in this video. Um, Charles Leclerc um, did did an awesome job, but I, but unfortunately Ferrari messed up his strategy again, so he ended up in fifth position, which is. Still awesome, um, given given uh, the 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 crash he had in the qualifying yesterday, um, I was particularly impressed by Valtteri Bottas performance today because he was um, it seems like. It seemed like 
he was dominating um, uh, Lewis Hamilton, um, you know, near enough all the way uh, through the whole race, um, and he deserve, deservedly won it in my opinion. He now, he now leads the championship by one point, and um, um, Hamilton uh, got second, and followed by by Vettel coming in, uh, getting the last podium in third position. How, you know, um, however, I I can see a shift in um, in um, Ferrari. Ferrari is uh, Ferrari really need to get their shit together because other you know I think Leclerc is gonna get really cheesed off sooner rather than later because I think he could have won this race um won this race because he was leading at some point and I think he could have won it quite easily um but um. Let me get back to the um, incident that I want to talk about, uh, which involved uh, Ricardo and um, Kvyat. Well, uh, they both missed the braking point and they couldn't make the corner. But then, but then uh, um, Daniel Ricardo. Uh, backed right into um, a caveat, which I found really bizarre, and that should not have happened to an F experienced F1 driver. And if that would have been the other way around, caveat would have gotten s such a shit storm against him that would have been un unbelievable. Um, but uh, what do you guys have made of it? Made of that incident? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyway, um, uh, uh, Botas is now uh, leading the championship by one point, as I said. And I think we've seen we are seeing a completely new uh, Valtteri Bottas. And I'm going to bring something up here. Um, now, from what I understand, um, for, uh, for, um, Mercedes have promised uh, right, uh, Esteban Ocon a um, seat uh, for 2020 in the Mercedes. Well, if how are they gonna do that if how how is how is Total Wolf gonna deliver on that promise if if he if uh, Botas keeps uh, delivering like he currently is um because you know they hardly gonna gonna get rid of him are no, they. And uh, they know that you know it would be really harsh if they did, if they was to do uh, what Williams did in 1996 uh, when um, they get, got rid of Damon Hill uh, dis uh, despite him having won the championship for him. So how do you think that is gonna pan out? Let me know in the comments below, um, you know, and you guys have been smashing it, and um, um, I'm really grateful for all your support. Um, can we can we get this channel up to 200 subscribers by uh, the by the next race, which is going to be in in Spain uh, in two weeks' time? Uh, until then. Uh, Goodbye and cheers for watching. Love you. Bye.